Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we are going to the assemble Xiaomi 13 Lite. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, insert it into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. After that, we move on to heating the back cover. For this, we use a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. We heat the surface of the back cover to about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detach the back cover. We use a thin plastic film to detach the back cover. We find the right place where we can run our film. In our case, we can't run the film under one of the corners, but we can pass the film in the area of the side buttons. So we carefully run the film along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. Carefully, without hurrying, we work with a tool. It is necessary to be careful in the area of the side buttons, not to damage the cables. It is necessary to be careful in the area of the cameras, not to damage the lenses. So we carefully run the tool along the edge, cutting off the glue base. Pass from different sides. Of course, since the color is curved, it will always be difficult to pass on the corners. And as we can see, the cover wasn't opened before us. And after 3 to 5 minutes, we can open the back cover. As we can see, we have only the gasket on the back cover. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws on the top part. For this, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 We unscrew the screws, placing them on a special surface in a certain order so that nothing gets mixed up when reassembling. If the screws don't come out well, we can use a magnetizer. Then we need to disconnect the flashlight cable because there is another screw underneath this cable. We unscrew this screw also with a, a one and a half millimeter Phillips screwdriver. And now we can carefully detach the cover that hides the motherboard. We detach the cover with a non-metallic tool and also with a non-metallic tool we disconnect the two battery connectors. Then we disconnect the connector and remove the flashlight cable. After that, we move on to removing the screws at the bottom. For this, we use the same screwdriver, a one and a half millimeters. We also see the warranty sticker on one of the screws and the screws are also placed on a special surface. Next, we need to detach the cover with a loudspeaker. As always, it is really important that we find the right place where we can pry and leave the cover off. We try to detach the cover from different sides, but we don't need to force it, because once we find the right place, the cover will open easily. So we find the right place open it, leave the cover, turn it over and as we can see, in order to detach the cover with a speaker, we also need to disconnect the coaxial cable connector on the motherboard. And we remove the cover with a speaker and the coaxial cable. After that, we disconnect the interboard cable connector. We disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector we disconnect the coaxial cable connector and we release the cable itself. And we move on to detaching the subboard. 
we need to also find the right place where we can gently pry and leave the subboard. In one of the places we can see the clip that holds the subboard in place. This is the best place to hook and leave the subboard and pull it out. So we carefully remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the microphone, charging port and the card holder on the back side. And in the display frame we have the fingerprint sensor and the vibration motor. And our little regular test. We insert the tool into the microphone hole. As we can see the hole in the display frame has L shape. The body of the microphone itself is located on the back side of the subboard. Accordingly, it means that it is almost impossible to damage the microphone in this way. And we move on to detach the cameras on the motherboard. First, we disconnect one front camera and as we can see, in order to unglue the heat dissipating coating, we need to detach the second front camera. We detach the cameras and carefully peel off the copper heat dissipating coating and we put the cameras aside. After that, we can detach the rear cameras. Carefully pry up the edge, slightly hold the cameras so they don't fly out and lift, pull out and remove the cameras. We can't detach the large main camera because it is glued to the display frame. We will detach it later. And we move on to disconnecting the connectors. We disconnect the interboard cable connector. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector. We unbend the cable. We disconnect the display cable connector. And we can try to remove the motherboard. We also need to find the right place where we can pry up and carefully remove the motherboard. As we can see on the display frame, under the motherboard we have some thermal paste left. Now we need to remove the main large camera. We choose a tool that is suitable for detaching the camera. We try to gently lift it up and remove it. As usual, we need to find the right place where we can hook by the body, lift and remove the main camera. And we find that right place, we carefully detach and remove the main camera to the side. And in the display frame, as we can see, we have the earpiece speaker. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We unwrap two brown tabs with the letters A and B. We read the description, which tab we need to pull and which one we need to unwrap. And as the description makes clear to us, we should unwrap the tab with the letter B, which is located in the middle to decide as much as possible so that it doesn't interfere with us. And the white tab which is located on the edges with the letter A carefully pull upwards. And we pull the tab with the letter A upwards and detach the battery. And we see under the battery we have a transparent protective coating which protects the interboard cable. So, this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.